Good morning, my name is uh, Jean-Charles Renaudin. I uh, present today uh, four different plots of uh, uh, production of seed of fenugreek. Uh, we are located 200 kilometers south of France. And um, these uh, four varieties of fenugreek are for two of them spring type varieties and for the two other type winter type. That means that some of them with the winter type for instance can be drilled um, before winter and usually they are drilled mid-September. For the two other varieties, the winter resistance are uh, poor, and so we usually plant them, uh, especially in the center of France, we plant them about uh, mid-March uh, mid up to beginning of April. Well, what I propose to you is to present, uh, varieties per varieties, the four varieties starting from the first one, uh, which is Fenucold, which is the most popular variety uh, in our country. This uh, uh, comparison will be made on six different features, which are earliness, which are smelling, which are winter resistance, which are uh, dias genin content, volume of forage, and uh, potential of uh, grain production. So, uh, the first variety is Fenucold. This variety has been drilled on the, as, uh, the three others on the 16th of March 2017. This variety has a good potential in seed production. I would say certainly the best seed potential of the uh, four varieties. The volume of forage is quite good. The winter hardiness is the best by far of the of the test plot. Uh, we have had some examples in the past where this variety have been tested at minus 17 during winter, minus 17 Celsius, and the winter resistance has been perfect at this level of frost. So that is a true winter resistant variety. The smelling is very poor. You know, fenugreek has a very typical smelling, and this variety do not belong to the category of the high smelling varieties of fenugreek. This means that for the perfume industry, for instance, this variety will not be very suitable. The earliness of this uh, variety is uh, said to be intermediate. That means that we are not uh, early, we are not late. We are on a scale of uh, 0 to 10. We, are, uh, we have given a note of 7. Uh, that means that uh, in the center of our country, in the center of France, this variety of fenugreek should be uh, com combined, harvested uh, in the first half of July. So by far, this variety has the biggest uh, volume importance in our country, just because of its agronomical traits and because this uh, variety is, um, is uh, as a winter hardiness, which uh, allow this variety to have a longer uh, time of growth, which means that the potential, the, agro the agronomic potential is bigger than the other varieties. We are now on uh, the second variety plot, which name is Fenufix, F-E-N-U-F-I-X. Fenufix is um, a lower uh, variety, the forage potential production is lower than the previous Fenucol variety. The, the agronomical potential in seed production is lower as well. That is a true spring variety. That means that the winter hardiness is very poor compared to the, to the previous variety. That is um, uh, a variety which has a poor smelling capacity. That means that this variety will not be suitable for the perfume industry. The earliness is um, lowest, is, or is the lowest of the old plots. That means that the, 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 the the time of harvesting will be later than the other varieties. Uh, on a scale of 0 to 10, this variety has a note of 5, which means that it's uh, not a late variety, that is a medium early variety. The eight of uh, vegetation growth is uh, poor, that's about 30 to 40 centimeters high. The number of pods attached on every level of uh, uh, of stalk is uh, mainly one pod. On other varieties, we have sometimes two pods 
uh, the, this feature of being able to have two pods instead of one translate the capacity of the variety to be able to adapt to a drought or to a heat wave or to a, a phytotoxicity of a chemical. That is a very interesting trait, but unfortunately this Fenufix variety uh, does, doesn't bear this, uh, this feature. So, because this variety is very uh, winter sensitive, this variety use will be, uh, cert will be certainly the, what we call the companion crop uh, application. In France, very often we plant uh, canola, winter canola, with a legume, and uh, fenugreek is a, is a good companion crop because fenugreek is uh, aggressive, but not too much, not uh, so aggressive to make some uh, um, some problem to the, to the canola, to the winter canola, and uh, because of its capacity to be destroyed by winter, you do not need to use a chemical kill the companion crop before winter, usually the winter by itself is sufficient to kill the crop. So that is a very interesting trait for this special application which is more and more popular in the third variety. The third variety is the fenulate. Fenulate is the um, uh, earliest variety. The quantity of forage is small. I would say very similar to the to the previous uh, Fenufix variety. Um, the interest of uh, Fenulate is its smelling. Unfortunately, that is impossible to transmit this trait uh, on a video. But uh, that's a very um, very typical of a Fenugreek crop. The smelling of this variety is very very strong. That makes uh, a variety very suitable for the perfume application. Uh, you know that we have a perfume industry in, uh, in France, and so this variety is more dedicated for this uh, special application. The agronomical uh, potential is low, very low. The um, winter hardiness is very poor. That means that it is an exclusive spring type variety. We could have maybe another variety because the smelling, the strong smelling of this variety is said to be a repellent to insect. So, uh, talking back to the previous variety application, which, which was to be a companion crop to canola, this um, very specific smelling of fenugreek could allow the producers to save few chemicals in the fall to prevent insects to destroy stalks or uh, what we call the rosette of the, of the canola. So that could be maybe another application. But for the time being, the first application by far is to be uh, a, 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 a seed uh, being used for the perfume industry. The fourth and late uh, and last um, uh, variety has not yet a name. That is a variety which is still uh, on the process of registration. By far, this variety has the biggest capacity to produce uh, forage. That is a, um, really a good forage uh, variety. The yield potential in grain is as good as the first variety. Um, the difference with the first variety is uh, about the diosgenin content, which is which seems to be smaller uh, than the previous on the first variety. Uh, so for the cattle application, uh, maybe the first variety is better, but the agronomical trait of this variety uh, seems to allow a good future for this. Uh, for this cultivar, for this variety, for the forage production. So we have had some uh, stability problem for this variety, so we are cleaning the plots. Uh, these uh, plots are used for basis, uh, basis seeds production, so we have passed many many times to remove all the off-type uh, plant to have a, a plot which is uh, as even as possible. So I uh, thank you a lot for your attention. I propose to you to come back at the harvest time to present you the result of these varieties. Uh, here is um, a field of safflower for seed. 
uh, this uh, plant is uh, uh, very drought resistant we are uh, right now we are uh, living a very strong uh, heat and and dry time in center of France and so you can see this safflower seed field which seems to be very healthy whatever the dry and hot and hot condition thanks a lot for your attention i propose to you so to come back in few weeks bye bye